to convert JPEG images or scans of a printed page to a multi-page PDF, you can use this online PDF converter. It's at online2pdf.com. Go to that page in your web browser and you get the display you can see I've got here on the screen now. And I've also got over here a folder which has got some JPEG images. And you can see each one of these JPEG images is quite large, 7 to 9 megabytes, so they're a decent size. One of the things that the PDF is going to help us to do is not only put those all into one multi-page document, but also we can control the compression settings. So how do we work this? What we do is we go to online2pdf.com, uh, online PDF converter. It's got some instructions here on how to work it. One, two, three, very simple. All you've got to do is take these documents and drag them and drop them into this pink box down here where it says select files. And you can see it's picked one of them up already. If you want to, you can hold down Command on a Mac or Control on a PC and you can select two documents at once and drag those in and it will pick up the two documents. So now you can see I've got a list of my three uh, JPEG files, which are the same as the ones over here. And at the moment all it's done is it's recognised what the files are. It hasn't uh, uploaded them yet. That will take a little while because of the file size. Before we do that, we've got some preferences here that we can set. And the one that we want to look at is this one that says compression. Now if we want to get a reasonably small file size, we need to reduce these settings a little bit. So if we go to medium quality, and then here we've got resolution of images, we can set that to 150 dpi. That will still give us a pretty good result, good enough to read on screen. Uh, we can leave that at colour, obviously. And all we do is hit this big red button convert and what it will do is it will upload the files and you can see it's saying uploading your files. It's now pulling in those three big JPEG images and then once it's done that it will automatically convert those into a PDF and then it will download the PDF for me. Okay now those files have almost uploaded to the online converter. You can see it's taken a few minutes for that to happen. You can see it's now saying converting. Download starts automatically. There it goes. And you can see it's downloading the file. There it is. And I can look at that file. And there it is. So if I open this file, I should now have a PDF which has got my three JPEG images stored in it. A picture and another picture and another picture, which I obviously took upside down.